So this building is listed on the National Register of Historic Places. The surrounding parcel also contains the Carluck Cemetery and a number of known archaeological resources. As far as I know, the archaeological record indicates that Carluck has been occupied, this area has been occupied for at least 6,000 years um, and possibly more. And this front part of the building here, or the back part of the building, is going to be kind of positioned. Well, that whole over the building this. will be just like it's sitting there, it's just straight this way right over here. Okay, so this. Yeah. Because there's kind of like this dip and then more. Well, that building's going to be, when we get all done, the back corner, that corner of the building we're sitting back over there. Okay, that's why I'm kind of trying that's to get where, out. Yeah, well, that's where we're trying to get in here. I mean, we can keep it as close as we can. You know what, we got to get past this one grave site here. Really, I'm kind of surprised that I haven't found um, much more, which I'm pleased about. I mean, that's what we kind of wanted with, with this, is to be in an area where we have relatively limited disturbance. The community obviously has the closest connection to this place, and this is um, truly a sacred place to the members of this community and folks that live here now and folks that have lived here in the past and are connected to the individuals who are buried here in the cemetery um, and the people who have um, practiced at this church. Other groups that are involved, as you know, are ROSIA, the Russian Orthodox Sacred Sites in Alaska, a nonprofit group the Alaska Association for Historic Preservation, the National Park Service, myself, my colleague Grant Crosby, and a few other folks have been asked to participate kind of as just to provide some technical advice and assistance as needed. One more of these big beans to put in. And then once we get that, and then we'll reset our jacks, put them on the big beams, and we'll raise it up, and then we'll put those beams there and roll sideways. It's just an extra step, but it's just for safety more than anything. We just want to get away from that bank. This is a, just a clear piece of glass, and it's pretty thick, and it's got a, like we would look for any kind of markings. Spongy it feels. We came up approximately three inches. Extended, we're up, uh, what, five? Yeah, we're probably, we're probably got eight inches of jack in there. Here's where the box has been living right here. It's been living right there. Yeah.